In 2020, approximately $3 trillion were created out of thin air. That's about 20% of the money that we have in circulation and it was created out of absolutely nothing. With that reality, our money is becoming worth less and less each and every day. Now that's a problem, but if that wasn't enough of a problem, our national debt has risen by around $16 trillion in the last 12 years alone, and it doesn't appear that it's gonna be slowing down anytime soon. With that, the new administration has come in, and like all new administrations, they want to enact their new reforms. But like anything, it comes at a cost, and that cost is estimated to be around $11 trillion. But it's not just this administration. Every single administration, Republican and Democrat, has raised the national debt and inflated the money supply to pay for these proposals. And this is why cryptocurrencies like Litecoin have become so popular and why many people like myself believe they are poised for huge growth going forward. Our current economic system and money supply have been failing for years, and people are just starting to become aware of this reality, and they are moving to different options to protect their wealth. Litecoin is different because it's decentralized and it has a hard cap of 84 million coins, which means that it can never be inflated or manipulated by a central authority like the Federal Reserve, who holds sole control and discretion over our entire money supply. The Federal Reserve, who has control over our money supply, isn't federal, they're independent, and they don't answer to our government. If that makes you a little nervous, it should because in my opinion, they have more power than any person that we can elect into office. If it makes you feel any better, the Federal Reserve System is run by big bankers who now step down from their banks with the promise they won't do anything to purposely benefit the companies they once served, but instead they will only do what's best for the American people. That's reassuring in a day and age where big bankers and the suits are doing everything in their power to help the middle class and lift them up into a better life. I hope you realize that I was joking because that is so far from the truth. Now this is where Litecoin comes in because it offers an alternative to our current financial system and it was created with the intent to be digital silver to Bitcoin's digital gold. Now as we've seen, Litecoin has not lived up to the intention to be digital silver, but that doesn't mean it's not a good coin with huge growth potential, especially with some of the changes that are gonna be happening in the near future. One change that Litecoin is having is a major privacy overhaul that will allow for truly private transactions in the crypto space where people are trying to get away from government control and regulation. This is a huge move to finally differentiate themselves from Bitcoin. The best way I could think of to explain what private transactions are is by how you tip your server. If you tip them in cash, then no one knows about it other than you and them because there is no record that anyone can see. But if you tip them on a card, then there's a record of it that can be seen and tracked back to that server. So Litecoin is aiming essentially to give you the option to have trackable or untrackable purchases. Charlie Lee, the creator of Litecoin, stated the reason for making this move was because he wanted to make it so that users wouldn't have to give up their financial privacy by using Litecoin. And he stated that even if you're not doing anything illegal, you still don't want people to know how much money you have or how much your paychecks are. Currently, they would be the only coin in the top 10 among cryptocurrencies that would have this feature. And it could be a huge selling point for people who are looking for more privacy in their purchases and in their finances. Another huge factor for Litecoin's growth going forward is that they are getting more support from institutional investors with over $584 million in futures being added in late 2020. The Grayscale Litecoin Trust added another $210 million of assets and that number is expected to grow in the near future as more institutional support is being thrown behind various different cryptocurrencies. Now, like I've always said, institutional money has the power to move markets because they just have a lot more money than the average investor has access to. So if more institutional investors follow suit with Grayscale and start investing into Litecoin, then we can expect their price to skyrocket in the near future. Another huge positive for Litecoin's growth going forward forward is that they were recently added to PayPal US in October of 2020, and PayPal has the goal to expand their crypto services globally in 2021. When PayPal finally allows for countries outside the US to buy and sell cryptocurrencies through their platform, I expect to see Litecoin and all other major cryptocurrencies rally with this new influx of money. But it doesn't stop there as PayPal CEO Daniel Schulman has said that you'll be able to use cryptocurrencies at their 29 million merchants. That's insane and it finally allows for cryptocurrency to be used as a serious large scale medium of exchange. PayPal CEO Daniel Schulman has also said recently that digital currencies are going to come into the mainstream and the time for that to happen is now. Because of his belief in this, he is preparing his company to be the hub that people can use for their crypto transactions. PayPal has also said that they want to expand their crypto capabilities to Venmo in 2021 and this will allow for a new influx of money and usability into the crypto space that will only 
only help Litecoin going forward. If that wasn't interesting enough, I think this will be, as people start using these cryptocurrencies more because it's easier to do so, it's going to expose a lot of problems with certain cryptocurrencies out there, and people are going to look for coins that are more practical to use on a day-to-day -day basis. If we're looking for a practical coin with good transaction times and lower fees, then we're going to see that Litecoin is a better option for that purpose than Bitcoin, and that it's extremely undervalued at its current price. Litecoin transactions take on average around two minutes, while Bitcoin transactions take on average around 10 minutes, given that the circumstances are ideal. But in all honesty, the circumstances are probably not ideal very often. Litecoin also has lower transaction fees and they average under $1, while Bitcoin transaction fees vary heavily depending on the transaction, but on average, they cost around 16 to $20. So as you can see, Litecoin is a far superior option in terms of transaction times and transaction fees. So I believe as these coins are used more on PayPal systems with their 29 million merchants, that it will prove that Litecoin has been underrated for far too long. When you pair that with the fact that it's going to be the only privacy coin on PayPal that can be used, it's going to finally differentiate itself from everyone else and give itself a unique value proposition that no other big cryptocurrency offers. Remember that this isn't investing advice, it's just my opinion, but I believe that Litecoin is going to shoot past its 2017 high of just under $400 and that it could get as high as $1,000 or more in the near future. I believe that the $1.9 trillion stimulus package that is proposed and is in the Senate waiting for a vote will be the catalyst that rallies Litecoin and all other cryptocurrencies out of this recent correction. This will once again inflate the US dollar and add to the national debt, which will cause more and more people to look for an alternative to our current system. Before this recent correction, Litecoin was rallying and got as high as $248 before dropping into the 160 to 170 range. But personally, I'm not too worried about the correction and I don't think you should be either. The recent correction hit the entire crypto market and the entire stock market. But it's important to remember that crypto does this a lot. And if you have glass hands, then crypto probably isn't a good investment for you. I got literally hundreds of messages and comments from people when crypto was dropping, asking if they should be selling. And I want to address this. You should have an exit plan for any investment you make, but just because something drops for 10 straight days, especially crypto, that doesn't mean every crypto out there is going to zero and that we're going to lose all of our money. Litecoin is going to rally back. Ethereum is going to rally back. Bitcoin's gonna rally back. And in a market where we've been on a massive bull run for a long time, I truly believe one huge contributor to the next market crash is gonna be the fact that people panic sell when they're red in their portfolio for an extended period of time. After my last video about Ethereum, I had so many people hating in the comments section saying, oh, you're an idiot. Ethereum went from $2,000 down to $1,400. You lost a ton of money. Why would you invest in this coin? I wanna tell you something. You know how many times Bitcoin has dropped $10,000, $15,000, Ethereum's dropped $1,000. That happens a lot in the crypto space. It's just part of the game. If you're not up for that, you shouldn't be investing in these kinds of currencies. It's not for you then. If you're that worried about a drop in the short term that you miss the big picture, that things go up in the long term, even though there's this crazy volatility, then it's just not a good investment for you. You should probably look into something else, maybe bonds, maybe a money market account, maybe a CD. But crypto is not for you if you can't handle the volatility. To say that, oh, Ethereum is a bad investment because it had a bad week, it had a bad two weeks, it had a bad month, is just not a smart thing to say. It's Just because something is bad for a week, bad for a day, bad for a month, doesn't mean it's a bad investment all the time, long term, and we should never invest in it. If you would have bought a lot of things in 2008 that crashed, they were worth double in just a couple of years. Were they bad investments in 2008 just because they had crashed? No, not necessarily. So don't believe people who say, oh, something's on the downtrend, we shouldn't buy it. That happens, that's part of the market. Don't be afraid of that. If you have glass hands, don't invest in a cryptocurrency. You're gonna end up selling at the wrong points, buying at the wrong points, and losing a lot of money. With that said, I believe in Litecoin, and I'm looking at this recent dip as an opportunity to buy the coin at a discounted price. I think the price it's at now is a very good price. I'm personally buying. I made a video prior how I have about $20,000 that I bought into Litecoin at around 160 to $165 a coin. 
still holding that money, did not sell it when it went up, not selling it when it went down. I'm holding that long term because I truly believe in Litecoin to be a lot higher than it is currently. So if you guys found this video informative, I hope you guys will consider subscribing to my page for more information drop multiple times a week on real estate stocks, crypto, and all other things personal finance. Also, if you guys could follow me on Instagram, I would greatly appreciate that. Post on my story multiple times a day of stocks, crypto, financial news, all things that I believe will provide you value. Thank you guys for watching all the way through. See you guys soon.